Hey, what's happening to you guys? Paris here and welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be a really short video. I just want to give you guys my thoughts and opinion on Blacktober. Because um, I was made aware of it, I think, a month before of its actual, I guess, you know, beginning. And I thought the idea was pretty good, you know, a month dedicated to artists for them to kind of, I guess, showcase their abilities to create characters and stuff like that. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to see some really unique original characters. Maybe some people who are actually working on some projects can use that platform as an opportunity to kind of showcase what they've got and give the people what they want, which is diversity. That's all I've been hearing consistently. Diversity, 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 diversity. But then when the month actually kicked off, all I saw was just um, um, blackwashing. That's the simplest way I can put it. It's just blackwashing characters left and right. Nothing unique, nothing special, and they call it empowerment when it's actually just some weak-ass mental um, excuse people have given themselves just to empower themselves. And that's how I feel about it. You guys had a whole month that you've dedicated f for artists to really showcase their skills and all that stuff. And it's, it really bothers me a lot because these are some really talented people participating in this month and they're wasting it blackwashing characters. I can't call it I can't call that skill if all they're doing is just blackwashing characters. I don't care if you're giving them a little bit of a African Africanness nose, if you give them African texture hair, it does not matter. It's just blackwashing and it's really pathetic to be honest really. In my opinion in my opinion. I know this video might offend some people. Yeah, I don't really do the, the whole caring for people's emotions. I'll just say what I need to say. If you want to express your I guess distaste for my video, leave your opinion in the comment section below or just dislike the video. I don't really care. My point is, is that this month could have been a great opportunity to a highlight some indie projects that could have gotten the spotlight and become the next big thing based on the support that you guys give it or, or create some brand new characters that people could actually enjoy and maybe create fanfics for those characters. I mean, these things happen. Like, <laughs> these things can happen, but you guys are just wasting your time giving characters who already are more prominent than they can ever possibly be more prominence. Why? Why would you waste that time? Like, uh, okay, let me just see if I can um, put out the actual thing for the Blacktober thing. A great opportunity. Wasted. I actually wrote a blog about it. The, the link will be in the description below. But um, let, let's see what the month has. Because they have a, I guess, a task that you have to do for every single month. So, you know, they talked about childhood favorite, most relatable, protagonist, antagonist, creepy, blonde hair. Blonde hair. Blonde fucking hair in a Blacktober event. What the, Why? You see what I mean? These are just people who who want to be white. But the only way they feel like they have to be white is to take white characters and turn them black. What has blonde hair got to do in a month that should be celebrating um, black characters in some sense? Um, badass, magical girl, running with a toast, idol, and um, sportsman, athlete. Like, these are fine if you can just create original characters around them. Like childhood favorite, you could probably... I don't even know why that's even a thing, but whatever. The blonde hair, you know, as I was reading this, the blonde hair was enough for me to be like, oh, this whole month is bullshit. <laughs> this whole month is fucking bullshit. Um, I I've seen that argument so many times. Blonde hair, um, black people can pull off blonde hair, yada, yada, yada. Let me just be honest with you. Very few black people, and I mean a small percentile, percentile of black people can actually pull off, you know, blonde hair. It's just, not everyone can do it. Personally, and it, it all has to do with color combinations. Some color combinations look well, some don't. That's just life. Deal with it. Uh, I don't know. Like, it's so frustrating. It really is because I don't even know what black people want anymore at this point. I, they, they bitch and moan about black diversity. They, that's what they do. They bitch and moan about diversity. They want to see more people of color. They want to see more people of color doing great things, epic things, and all that stuff. And there are people out here doing that stuff. I have highlighted those people on my website. In fact, at the end of this video, I will, I will show you almost 10 projects of people actually going out of the way to create the things that people want to see. And you will still not see people supporting that stuff because, A, because yeah, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. They don't see anything official until a white man does it. And that's just the truth of the matter. Black people will refuse to support another black person unless they see a white man at the project. That's just the truth of it. Because look how they celebrated 
the the Disney girl, the fish half mermaid. Yeah, well, I don't know her name, but the mermaid girl from Disney. When they found out that they turned um, that character black, wow, they celebrated like they celebrated like Jesus came back. <laughs> Instead of just going, and they don't see how insulting it is. Because here's the thing, while Hollywood is blackwashing characters, they're creating brand new original white characters. Because they're not going to go around and just wait until until black characters catch up, no. They're continuing to create brand new original characters. Instead of us doing the same thing and supporting it, so that we can you know, bring those people up and give them the platform that they need to create the worlds that, that we want to see, let's blackwash Naruto. Um, Let's blackwash Naruto. Let's let's blackwash Goku. Let's blackwash um, Deku and Bakugo and you know Gan and Killua and all these characters because that's the only way we can see ourselves in this art form instead of just fucking I don't know creating it yourself. I don't know. I'm just throwing some ideas here. I really am. It's pathetic. I think it actually screams inferiority complex because it really fucking does. It really does. Think about it. Instead of actually sitting down and creating your own original characters, give them some backstory, give them the powers that you want to see, you want to go and turn Goku black. That's your, that's your way of diversity. That's your way of thinking about in creating inclusion, creating diversity. That makes so much fucking sense, bro. That, that's, that's genius right there. I, I, I don't even fucking know. I really don't know, bro. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Any, any other day, like any other day, April, September... No, February, whatever month it is, if I've seen, if I had seen a black Goku, I would not have, you know, batted an eye. If I'd seen a black Vegeta, I wouldn't have said anything. I don't know. For me personally, I've always felt annoyed when I see the black community, predominantly the African American community. I'm only pointing at you guys because you guys are the face of black people currently, so when black people are talking on a big global scale, you guys are usually the loudest, so yeah. When I see you guys celebrate, you know, black characters taking the roles of established white characters, it, it's honestly disappointing. It really is. It's not a victory. It's a hollow victory. Because it's not building what we need. Which is, and please remember this word, legacy. We need to build an actual legacy. That's what we need to do. Instead of trying, instead of always arguing about <clears throat> trying to turn white characters black, we need to start building legacies, man. We need to start building legacies. That's what we need to do. <laughs> That's what we need to do. But you guys don't seem to get it. Apparently, it's too much of a difficult thing to comprehend. Do you know what I mean? Look at manhwa comics. I think manhwa comics usually come from South Korea. I think, yeah. Those things are blowing up. Take um, solo leveling for example, we would not have heard about solo leveling if the native Koreans hadn't supported the creator of that manhwa. If they, if they haven't supported him, gave him the courage to keep on going until to the, to the point where it, it made enough noise that someone from the west saw it and obviously fan translated it for us to read it, it wouldn't have blown up. That's what I'm trying to sell you. Um, we need to start supporting our own stuff so, in, so big enough so that other people can start reading it. That's how you build a legacy. I don't even know. It's, it's like, it's not even that difficult to understand. I don't understand why a lot of people are so adamant, so adamant to turn everything white, black. You think you, you think you, you think this is gonna one up white people, but it's not. It, it doesn't do anything. It really fucking doesn't. White people don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, they kind of do give a fuck. I, I get that they do, but. It doesn't harm them in the way that you think or in the way that you're hoping that it does. It's just more like an annoyance. And then the representation that we do get that come from the West, they sometimes are fucking lame. They're lame. Because we're not, we're not the ones telling the story. It's just... Like, I don't mean to be mean, I guess. It's just... It makes no sense. It really doesn't. I don't want to be here ranting about you guys not supporting indie project and then not showing them on my videos. So the first one is Adon by Chi, which is a graphic novel series about a college students with goddess-like powers. So basically, 
you know magic girl type of stuff so if you're into that and um, the link will be in the description below the, ne the next one is dream vesper which is an upcoming stunningly gorgeous manga project which stars a you know african albino so it looks amazing if you want to check that out the link will be in the description below as well the next one is going to be void beast an indie comic book about werewolves with dark matter power so if you're into werewolf type of stuff and you want to see the werewolves being done right this is another one that you guys can check out, the link will be in the description below as well. The next one obviously, one of my favorite one is Black Sands The Seven Kingdoms. This one I really am looking forward to seeing because the creator has the exact vision that I have. So it looks pretty cool, if you're sick and tired of seeing you know, Egypt being whitewashed, this really portrays them accurately enough, so another one to check out. And then you also have... Um, let's hold up, hold up, hold up. The Tusky Hair, the Tusky Hairs, I believe. Really cool um series. It hasn't really had a panel yet, but the creator seems to be making an actual comic series off of it. It looks pretty cool. I like the art style. Another one to check out. Then we have another one which is kind of like a video game, but if you are someone who's been saying that you want a Tolkien-like universe, this guy seems to be making the project a reality so the wagandu chronicles which is an upcoming role play mmo something great to check out it touches on a lot of the african cultures really cool stuff the next one obviously is nani which is a graphic novel about a bit magical bizarre world of summer and it's another story about you know using african culture african mythology and bringing it to life like you know it's like every other comic book series and this is another really good one that you guys can get into Next one, obviously, is Black Sun, an upcoming manga-inspired webtoon, which is coming out in December. It looks really good. I really like the art style. The powers seem to be pretty cool. The characters have such a... Pers like, you just look at them and you see that the, the character's personality just pops out. So, another great one to check out. you got to support them if you want to see this type of stuff happen. Another one which I really like is Inawu, Child of Wonder, which is another show about a young girl, you know, in taking inspiration from the Yoruba lands. Um, if you're into kind of like the adventures like, you know, Avatar and all that stuff, this is a really good series to support. This is what I've been saying. There's so many people out there making stuff for us but you guys just aren't doing your part to support them then we have another one another one i'm really looking forward to trivial league i'm hoping that it hasn't been cancelled yet i haven't heard much about it since last year but it's pretty much a satire of the superhero stuff but what i really like about it as well is that it's going to be touching on anime stuff as well there was a panel that i saw about a naruto kid a rock league kid and then sasuke kid all kind of re uh, acting like shinobi it's really cool stuff you want to check and um, go ahead and check it out as well uh, another one um, is Excellence, which is another, which is a comic book series. This one here follows a, I think, an underground wiz wizard society that protects their neighborhood. Um, you know, we've seen that type of trope before, but obviously this time it centers around centers around African Americans. Really cool stuff. So you want to check it out as well. Uh, the next one. Um, is Astur Rebellion, which was a, I guess. An idea, a world that this creator had in mind, but she she's been trying to get it to, uh, she's been trying to get it animated. Um, obviously, if she had the support, she she could have found someone to bring her world to life. So definitely check that out if you're interested in this type of story as well. Link will be in the description as well. Um, the next one obviously is Exo Genesis. I feel like a lot of people have already seen this before, but there's an anime coming out about the Gladiator Sports. It looks really cool. I like this where the story is going. Um, they need to obviously up amp up the animation a little bit because obviously this, this is 2020. People aren't gonna be as tolerant, but it still looks. The premise looks really interesting, so something to check out. The next one is Project Divider, and I like this one a lot because if I showed you pictures of these characters, you wouldn't be able to tell me which one of them is the main character. That's how cool every single one of those characters actually look. So, this is also Webtoon comic books coming out soon. Um, do check it out, do support them, this is what we need, more support. In. And then, I guess, lastly, I would also put myself out there, so I'm also writing a um, literary fiction novel. So, you know, it's called Red Rapture, Bond Blessed Walk Across Reality. If you are a fan of kind of like, you know, Hunter Hunter, um, you know, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, those type of storylines where we touch on serious topics and, you know, delve into the minds of human beings and stuff like that. This is what I'm trying to write. Really cool stuff. It's coming out next year. So if you're interested, you can also pre-order it right now on Google Play, Kobo, Amazon and um, Apple Books. So 
yeah, the idea that was 15 projects going happening right now that you, you that you could be supporting, but instead you want to waste your time blackwashing characters. This is what I mean. You, we can't wait for Hollywood to do shit for us. We have to do that shit ourselves. But anyways, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Paris, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>